What's up, Mustangs? Today is Friday, January 13, 2023, and it's Dress Up Your Pet Day. MTV starts now. My name is Zoe and here are your announcements. Here's a quick heads up for the dress up days. Tuesday is the day of Sunday best versus Sunday less. Dress in either your most formal attire or your most comfy wear. Wednesday is surfers versus bikers. Thursday is athletes versus mathletes. Come out with sports gear or pocket protectors. And lastly, Friday is white out. Wear all white. Here's your breakfast, lunch, and weather report. Happy birthday to Maya Reeves, Hunter Ramey, Joy Stubbs, and Elena Peaks. Have a great day. 2022 was another great year for our theater program. For their latest play, The Giver, Tony went to get an inside scoop from the director. This past weekend, our drama club hosted their showings of The Giver, a story of a young boy in a dystopian society that is tasked with containing all the memories of his people. I got an inside look as to some of the decisions that went into the production of the play during my interview with Miss Cruddle. We went into this, your decision making when it comes to the choosing of the play this year. I knew that. Um, so last year, as as you well know, we did a um, we did a variety show with a bunch of different kinds of shows in it. We did three different one act shows. One of them was called Inside, and it was a more intense, um, less comedic show, and. All of the students in theater said we want something that is not so much comedy. They're like, we don't want it to be funny. We want it to be more intense. Well, there are not a ton of shows like Inside. <laughs> um, and Inside itself is actually for film anyway, and we adapted it for the stage. And so I looked for something that would be appropriate for high school students, but mm. also would be something not so slapstick and more serious. And so that's where I kind of found the giver to be the best of what they wanted. Not so scary, but still still good. This year, uh, there were shows starring understudies. Tell us about some of the characters in the play and how those qualities went into your casting process. So these characters did have some very intense not only like the volume of lines that they had, um, but also emotions that went into who those characters were and how they developed throughout the show. And so finding actors to play those roles was interesting um, when it comes to finding someone who not only can memorize things well, but also who can bring forth what they need for the character. Um, I'm extremely grateful to have um, actresses like Malin Patterson, like Joyce Stubbs, um, who is our Jonas and our giver, um, because both of them, not only are they able to um, memorize all the lines, I mean, they stay on the stage the entire time. It is a very high stakes show because there's no time to look over your script or do anything like that, they really have to know what they're doing. They also can bring um, life to these characters and intense emotion because it's not this funny, goofy show where you're 
looking for audience participation, where they're laughing and bringing more intensity from their reactions, you are really stepping up to bring that. And so with the characters that we have here, um, I was looking for individuals who could bring these characters to life in a way that didn't depend on even each other, but could um, bring intensity in a different way. And so I think that we really found that with this, with this cast in general. Thanks, Tony. Today around four, our basketball team will be playing home against Lewisburg High School. Adding on to that, our boys will also be competing in a tournament in Florence, Alabama tomorrow at 7.30 p.m. Don't be shy. Come out and support your Mustangs. Make sure to check the school website for more announcements, scholarship opportunities, and upcoming events. That was your show, Center Hill, and here's your quote of the day. I want to sing like the birds sing, not worrying about who hears or what they think. From Rumi. Don't forget to smash that like button, hit the bell so you don't miss an episode, subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Twitter, and don't forget our TikTok. Have a great day, Center Hill, and stay safe.